Now, we've all seen the iconic footage of Ronnie Coleman getting hyped, psyched, pumped, and jumped to the max before a set. Is there actually something behind Lightweight Baby? So to understand how this could have any impact on performance, we have to know something called the arousal curve. And basically what this is... Editor! That dude is such a piece of shit. I can hear you. I'm editing this right now. Something called the Yerkes Dodson Law, which I know is a ridiculous name. Hyphens, right, bro? And basically it says that if you want optimal performance, you want to be interested in the task. You don't want to be just bored and sleepy, but you don't want to be too interested in the task. If you're just completely up and just on fire, you're going to be anxious and you're not going to perform as well. It's also going to be task specific. So you're going to want to be more excited for a deadlift compared to playing the piano. So it depends on the task and how much fine motor control it actually needs. If you're going to play in a, a piano concert, you're not going to be like, <laughs> In the literature on grunting or yelling before or during a set, is generally positive but a little bit inconsistent and this is usually explained by the experimental conditions for example if you're just squeezing a hand gripper that doesn't really require any kind of skill at all it's just pure force production which explains why this drexel university study found a 25 percent increase in force production with a vocalization aka a lightweight baby a lot of other studies do find that some kind of psyching up technique can improve results to an average of about 12% in force or strength potential. There also seems to be a difference between novices and those who are more expert or even elite, both in terms of how much of an effect that they get, as well as the technique that is used. And anecdotally, everyone seems to have a slightly different and individual and unique way to get up to get aroused not sexually although maybe if you're really into lifting weights it might also be sexually and do a little lifting of our own <laughs> some people have a special song that is their pr song sometimes it's a smell <laughs> Sometimes it's a hypothetical situation that they put themselves in. Sometimes it's a memory from a situation that really impacted them and they use that, they leverage it to get up. Some people like to get slapped. Some people like to get spanked. Some people insult the weights, calling them small and infantile. And if you truly want to maximize performance, I would say this is something that could be helpful. However, remember, it's a curve. So it's certainly possible to get too aroused and get anxious and to psych yourself out. Whatever it takes to achieve that mindset. Also keep in mind, this is best reserved for either a competition or on very rare occasions in training, okay? Getting yourself just adrenaline up and lots of cortisol flowing and everything amped is not really training. That is performing, and there is quite a difference. Typically, when you're training, keep it to training. You should be able to hit a certain weight without getting super psyched. For example, tennis players, when they're in a match, often they're grunting and screaming and yelling with every hit. But when they're in training, it's not going to be near the same level. They're using that yep, in order to get a little bit of a performance boost, but they save it for the competition. Also realize that you're not Ronnie Coleman. I know that's sort of a newsflash to some people, but if you're getting all kinds of hyped and amped and snorting weird things to deadlift 135 pounds, you're an idiot. And so if you're not a professional lifter, whether it's a bodybuilder or power lifter or weightlifter or strongman, I would say there's no point in doing this very often and probably not even at all. Even if you don't work out in a Planet Fitness, 
be respectful of those nearby. If a grunt occasionally escapes, it's certainly not the end of the world, especially if it's during a hard set. But if you're purposefully doing it every single set, you're kind of just being an asshole. So I would say this is an instance where it's okay to let out some kind of grunt or growl or guttural utterance. It should never ever be a goal and it shouldn't be excessive if you can manage it. But if you're getting slow, grindy reps that are truly maximal in effort, you might find that you can't keep your library voice. And this is where gyms like Planet Fitness really are sort of doing their members a disservice. I guess they want to have a different kind of branding, a different kind of environment, but you really are holding people back in some ways. That's when it's okay to make some noise. Fuck! So in terms of absolute performance, this might help a couple of percent at most, especially if you're more advanced. And I would say in the long term, this is going to have minimal to no impact on your progression, which is what actually matters. Yeah, maybe it helps in the short term, but is it going to help in the long term? Probably not. If anything, it might actually hurt because of the recovery cost. All right, that is all for this video. Like, share, subscribe. Buy my training book. Ooh. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.